G'day, 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 gang. Welcome back to the channel. We're back to look at some more MTG War spoilers now. I said in my first video, check it out. Um, I have not looked at these spoilers yet. We checked out the first 10 in, the, in that video. Um, most of this happens when I'm at work and sleeping, being an Australian. Um, and I've tried, I've done my best to avoid being on social media to, to avoid seeing these spoilers that have come out because I wanted to do my reactions live. I wanted to talk about my first thoughts um, with you, get your thoughts as well. Um, again, to let you know, I am primarily a limited player, so most of my thoughts are going to be talking about where they're going to sit in the draft environment, where we're going to pick them, um, what are they going to do, how do they survive in that environment, but I really want to hear your thoughts on the, the, the constructed, the standards, the legacies, the moderns, the commander, the whatever whatever you might be playing. Let me know how it works, where it, are, where it comes up in your ranking of stuff. Okay, so we looked at these 10 yesterday, finishing up with Arlen, so we're going to go down and look at Ravnica at War. Three and a white, sorcery, exile all multicoloured purposes. What? Three and a white, sorcery, exile all multicoloured permanents. Uh, definitely a fringe card, looks like it is a rare, and with artist Adam Paquette, fantastic guy, I've been a few times at GP, I think he's Australian. Um, yeah, this is a card, I mean, it's, it's kind of wrathy, it depend, it's going to depend on the rest of the format for Limited, uh, I'd probably won't see a major thing, it'd, it'd be like sideboard, and you don't want to draw sideboard rares, so, yeah. Um, no escape. No escape is an instant, three costs, so two, two and a blue. Counter target creature or planeswalker spell. If that spell is countered this way, exile it before putting it to its owner's graveyard. Scry one. Uh, so this is obviously a, a reference back, and you can tell just by the artwork here, this is a reference back to Ixalan's binding, to, to Ixalan, the, 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 the thing that they have, I can't remember the name of it now, the thing that Azor, Azor created to, to stop the Planeswalkers, and that reflects back to what we are talking about in the trailer video where they, they, they're killing them, they're, spoilers, they're, they're killing the Planeswalkers because they're stuck, they can't run, he's killing them, taking their sparks, and something's gonna happen. Uh, the card itself, yeah, I mean, we're, we're playing, this card's probably gonna see a lot of play in Limited, it's, it's common, we're in the Planeswalker, you're, you're gonna assume that every single person at the pod has two to three Planeswalkers, in their deck, um, and obviously creatures are always worth countering as well. Yeah, any, any blue control deck, any, any blue tempo deck is going to want this, getting rid of the planeswalkers, all the creatures, and exiling them, plus a scry on top. This is pretty good, and not being, like, you'd expect something like this to be the double, like one double blue, like a cancel variant, so I think this is a pretty solid card, common. Uh, Dread Horde Invasion. It's an enchantment, so we actually do have... I, I, th I had a thought that with the Uncommon Planeswalkers, maybe we would not have actual enchantments, but hey. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life and mass one. All right, do we, do we have any keyword here? Put a plus one, plus one counter on an army you control. If you don't control one, create a zero, zero black zombie army to creature token first. When a zombie token... and you control with power six or greater attacks against life link till end of turn. So a, ma a mass must be a new ability. So army types. So the create army. So you create a black zombie army creature. So it only only affects armies, but the rest of the enchantment only affects zombies. So I wonder if there'll actually be creature types army or that only relate to this specific to it to itself. Um, this card seems fine, right? Like you lose one, you lose you lose a life. I, I wouldn't first pick it by any means, but I if there are army army creatures in the set, you can build around that. This this is pretty solid. I'd I'd, I'd play it in a limited deck. Uh, Tybalt's Rager. That's a that's an interesting name for a card. Uh, it's one in a red for a one two devil. When it dies, it deals one damage to your target, and you can pay one in a red to give it plus two, plus zero to end of turn. Is this? I wonder if this is a no. So the the fact that we're getting cards that reference planeswalkers, and they're not doesn't look like they're in planeswalker decks because it's just one forty seven out two sixty four. Um, that, that's interesting. I like that. Like that's 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 a good them thematic thing. Um, 
one, two, 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 one damage. It's 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 uncommon. It seems kind of not good. You know, if there's, if there's a good red aggro deck, it's a, it's a mana sink that also hurts on the way out. But yeah, not super exciting though, as an uncommon. Um, Paradise Druid. This is obviously a promo. Paradise Druid is one in a green for a Elf Druid. It has hexproof as long as it's untapped. Add one mana of any color. Um. Sure, and it's a two one for two. Yeah, this is a good card. Uncommon. You play you play this in any green deck, happily. Um, no issue at all. Yeah, I I I I'll play this card. I'll pl I'll play the hell out of this card. Um. Yeah, nothing bad to say about it. One one toughness kind of sucks, but a one one a two one for one is is cool. Yeah. Uh, let's keep going. It's five. So we've we'll, we'll got four more. A Johnny's Pride, mate. Oh, we're not looking at that. Everyone knows a Johnny's Pride, mate. Whenever you gain life, you put a counter on it, and the artwork is... Yeah, it's better. It, it's a better... Um, relentless Advance. Sorcery, a mass 3. So this is going back to a mass. Put 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters on an army you control. If you don't control one, create one first. So I'm guessing, without knowing any more than what we've already seen, a mass is probably going to be blue, black, and red. In um, Bolas colours, because obviously it's representing Bolas's army. Herald of the Dreadblade. This is a zombie. Is this a, an army? No, it's just a single zombie. When Herald of the Dreadhorde dies, a mass two. So I'm, I'm starting to feel that the only way to get these army tokens is going to be to through through creating this token. So I doubt there's going to be an army creature type. But uh, it's a four mana three two that dies into a two two. It's pretty. It's a it's a common. It's going to see a lot of play in just normal decks. It's nothing exciting, but it's it, it's 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 good. It's like Afterlife, but maybe better. Uh, Arlen's Wolf, so again, cards that reference other cards. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, Arlen's Wolf can't be blocked by creatures power 2 or less. Yeah, if you don't speak wolf, allow me to translate. One step closer and I'll rip out your throat. <laughs> oh, we didn't get werewolf form, Arlen. I kind of wish Arlen was werewolf form, to be honest. Like, it's... So far, we've only seen human planeswalkers. Oh, this is an elf, but, you know. Um... Kind of would be nice to get the, the, her in full werewolf form, full combat ready form, because she knows she's she's coming for a fight. I, I imagine. Um, but yeah, werewolf to three to three mana three two can't be blocked with power two or less. Can't be chump blocked. Can't be can't trade down, which is good. But this is a pretty solid card. I yeah, I definitely play this in a, in a good green deck. It's it's above it's above rate for a three drop, uh, for a, a common three drop. Obnixus Obnixilus's cruelty. Uh, we've got we've got a common target creature you control gets minus five minus five to the turn. If it would die, exile instead. Hey, removal. It's what you want. It's what you get. It's a th it's three mana. Kill most things. Like it's not gonna kill everything, of course. Anything with more than five toughness shouldn't be dying to a three mana spell anyway. And it gets exiled. So yeah, this this is a this is a really good card. Is that? Again, I think this is just in. It's a bit of a, a weird picture. Uh, it looks like it's just in the normal set it's not a it's not a special set or anything so yeah it's going to see a lot of play uh is that 10 that's 10 all right gang. so that's 10 more cards uh again want to hear what you think about them let me know what where you're going to play these cards what are you looking forward to opening when you start opening those packs of war of the spark uh please like if you like dislike if you dislike jump in the comments and let me know why subscribe to see more dingling the bell and of course in the description below you'll find lots of ways that you can help out support interact all that kind of fun stuff because i i am everywhere and i do everything Bye.